Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is going to be my delicious veggie soup. I love this recipe because you can make it in the crock pot. You can also make it on the stove top if you don't have all day to cook it, or also in the instant pot if you need it in a pinch. This soup is the perfect way to empty out your fridge or your freezer, or if you just want like a super delicious way to use those veggies, this is the dish for you. As usual, I will have the recipe pulled up so you can screenshot that if you'd like, and then we will get on into the rest of the video. You will need two carrots, one yellow onion, three celery stalks, two cups broccoli, one zucchini, three small potatoes, one tablespoon minced garlic, one can of diced tomatoes, one can of beans, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, two bay leaves, eight cups of chicken stock, salt and pepper to taste, and one cup of potato pearls. You're going to start out by chopping up all of your veggies into bite-sized pieces, and you can definitely choose whatever veggies you want. These are just the ones that I typically have on hand, and I really love this flavor combination. I think it's really delicious, but I definitely add in others in, or if I didn't have some of these, I would just add in whatever veggies I had. I've also made this with frozen veggies. If you don't have a lot of fresh veggies or you want to get rid of your frozen vegetables, and that is honestly an easier way because then you don't have to chop anything up but you can pretty much do whatever you want. I would just recommend having eight to nine cups of vegetables to add into your slow cooker. And the quantity of ingredients I'm using here will definitely give you a lot of leftovers. In my family, we love leftovers, so this will feed our entire family at least twice and maybe like an extra bowl or two. So you can also like cut this recipe in half and do a much smaller version if you either have a smaller family or you don't really care for leftovers but this reheats really well and it honestly tastes even better the next day. So we like making this in bulk. Next, you wanna go ahead and just open up your can of tomatoes and also your can of beans. You can choose whatever kind of beans you want. I really like the white beans for this recipe, but you can choose whatever ones you like and make sure to rinse and drain your beans. Once you have all your prep work done, you can go ahead and start adding in all of your ingredients except for the potato pearls. So go ahead and add in your vegetables and your garlic. Your can of diced tomatoes. Your beans that have been rinsed and drained two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, two bay leaves, your chicken stock, and also if you wanted to make this vegan, you could definitely use vegetable stock. I just have chicken stock, so that's usually what I use. Go ahead and give that a good stir and mix everything up in your crock pot. And then I just add a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. You'll go ahead and put your lid on and then you can either cook it on high for three to four hours or on low for six to eight hours. Once everything is done cooking, you can decide if you want a thinner traditional broth or if you want more of a creamy, thicker broth. If you do want a traditional broth, you can just serve it up as it is. And if you want the thicker broth, go ahead and add in some of those potato pearls. I usually put in about a cup, but I would just recommend adding them in slowly until you get the consistency of the broth that you like. Now either way you eat this soup, it's going to be so yummy, but you can definitely see the difference between the two options. 
If I have the potato pearls on hand, I will typically choose to do those because I think it just makes it a little bit more creamy and delicious that way. But honestly, you just cannot go wrong either way with the soup. It's so yummy. And as you can see, it's definitely a big hit with my family. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And also, definitely follow me on Instagram and subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next one.